I'm Natalie McNeil and you are watching She Takes on the World TV, your weekly dose of inspiration and practical advice for your business and your life. And today I am going to be talking to you about breaking up with clients who are stressing you out. Of course, clients are the lifeblood of our business and we need them in order to succeed. But if a client is draining you of your time and energy, not paying you on time or not paying you what you're worth, those are surefire signs that you absolutely need to break up with that client. And like any relationship, it's never easy to get out of it or to break up with somebody. It doesn't matter if it's a partner or a client. So today I have a few tips for you that you can use in order to break up with your clients and move on to working with people who truly fulfill you and that you really want to be working with. First, show your professionalism and protect your reputation by tying up any loose ends. This means finishing anything that you've already started, offering your client referrals so that they can find someone new to work with, and making sure that you give sufficient notice before letting your client go. Next, I think you should be 100% honest with your client. If they've been doing something that you think they need to improve on or they have some bad habits as clients, you should let them know so that the next person that they work with do not have to deal with that. And if it's just a matter of you having another opportunity, but you've still enjoyed working with them, let them know that too and try to leave the door open to work with them in the future. I think if you don't sugarcoat anything, it leaves you walking out of the relationship feeling much better instead of having held back on things that you wanted to say and then maybe regretting that later. Third, you should be brief. Don't feel the need to air all your grievances and share all your thoughts with them. If you can stay focused, it'll help you get through the meeting much quicker. And if you're in a really crappy situation, you'll probably want to get out of the meeting a lot faster anyway. One of the ways that you can be brief is to keep your emotions out of the picture. And I know this can be hard, especially when you're dealing with a really crappy situation, but it's something that you'll be thankful for later on. Last, try to schedule a meeting face-to-face -face if you can. But I know with the internet today and all the work that we do online, that's not always possible. So just make sure that you prepare what you say ahead of time so that you go in feeling really confident. And I've actually got a script that you can use that I've used in the past to break up with a client. Dear so-and-so, I'm grateful to have had the opportunity to work with you, but I don't feel like we're the right fit to work together moving forward because, insert reason here, I think there's someone who will be a better fit to work with you on achieving your goals in the future. That being said, I look forward to finishing this current contract with you and exceeding your expectations. Thank you and I wish you all the best in the future. So like I said, it's never easy to end a relationship and breaking up with a client is a really tough thing to do. But if you have someone who isn't paying you or who isn't paying you enough, who's causing you a lot of stress and really draining you of your energy, you've got to do it. My challenge to you this week is to go through all the clients that you currently have and determine whether any of them are clients that you need to break up with. Now, like I said, it's a really hard thing to do, so I feel for you if you're in that situation, but it will make you feel so much better to let those relationships go than to hold on to them and constantly bitch and complain about the work that you're doing with that person or the client themselves. And I know for me, if I've been dealing with someone who has been stressing me out or not paying me on time, it ends up creeping into my home life and my personal life too because I'll complain to my partner that the client is really stressing me out or I won't be able to go out and really enjoy myself after a hard day working with that person because I'm always replaying the shitty time I had all day working on that project. So I promise you'll feel so much more fulfilled in your work if you work with the right people. And sometimes that just means that you've got to do the hard thing of breaking up with a client. I'd love to hear from you in a comment below if you've ever had to break up with a client and how you handled it. Thank you so much for watching this episode of She Takes on the World TV and I will see you next time.
But sometimes we give too much of ourselves away for free out of our fears of saying no to people. So today's episode of She Takes on the World TV is all about helping you create a boundary between free and fee. 